Hey guys, welcome back to TV. I'm back with another video. Today I am at another abandoned uh, Christmas tree shops, and I actually came in here. Like, if you guys remember, last year I filmed this building right here. It used to be Radio Shack and Sprint, and you could see in the background in the beginning of that video this was open. So yeah, I will post. I will. Um, Look out in my video, see if I can take any uh, screenshots and uh, crop them for you guys. So, uh, yeah, this actually used to be an actual indoor mall, Nashua Mall, because I'm in Nashua, New Hampshire today. But, uh, yeah, let's go take a look at this sad sight. Yeah, this used to be on Nashua Mall, and the, this was the actual um, entrance. Burlington is actually looked just like that. Um, when the mall was here, but yeah, that used to be Radio Shack and Sprint. We got this restaurant and Shorty's Mexican Roadhouse and Denny's. I think we're, I'm gonna go to Denny's like after I film this, you know. And there's they actually still have the old Nashua Mall um, pylon sign. Joanne's used to be Babies R Us, but yeah, in the early 2000s is when they um renovated this whole area into a mall. It'd be cool if the doors just popped open, but that's not gonna happen. Oh guys, look, store closing sale. That's still up. And look at that chandelier up there. I know you can't really see it because of the glare, but wow. Welcome. Assuming this closed in July or August. And I was here before, like a month before they started liquidating this um, location. I don't really know why these are closed off. But I guess they are. So sad to see this. It's, but because they're built so cool, like... Their architecture is so cool. Locked. Cards. Yeah, you can see they still have the lights on in there. Some fixtures that never sold. Exit. So, yeah, it's so sad to see this gone because they were built so beautifully. Are so beautifully built. There's a good look in there. You can see it says seasonal on the corner of that thing over there. Still have the um the monitors for, for the um registers. Really sad, right? I should have came out here for one of the final days. Should have filmed a couple of them on their last day. But that reminds me, just in case if another business goes out, I will try to do my best to come out here and do it. But yeah, guys, look at There's the Slay logo. And I don't think that time, time doesn't work anymore, I don't think. It's like 4.30 maybe past and that says five five twenty two pampers you can see they they were doing some work over there for their fixtures taking them apart we got bath over there oh yeah guys look they're working on it er. They were, I don't know. They're, um, they have missing tiles. So I don't know, hopefully work, hopefully this gets repurposed and not left for years. Yeah, reflection. We got a door over here. I like this path too, it's like a little Christmas village. Yeah, see this like wobbly.
But yeah, let's go around the back. You can see there's two flagpoles right here. And that's where the sign was, right here. Pretty cool. But pretty sad though. That little clock, clock tower was pretty cool. And also guys, um, I'm gonna go into Burlington for a minute and see if they still have, if you could still see where the mall entrance was. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey guys, look at that. You can still see where it was. You can see that little um, digit in there. And over here. And you can see that other one right there. So that is pretty cool. Alright guys, so we are around the corner of Burlington. On our way to the back of the Christmas tree shop to see if we can find anything cool. Um, see, there's a Home Depot right here. There actually used to be an Alexander's supermarket right here. Until all of them closed in 1992. And had a little plaza and demolished it in 2000, late 2001. And built this Home Depot. And completed it in 2003. So yeah, I know uh, quite a few history about this property. This Burlington, I think, was like... I forget the name of it, but I think it was like some kind of supermarket. <laughs> I don't remember the name, but... And you can see over there, I filmed over there um, last summer. The abandoned Montgomery Ward Auto Center. Still abandoned. But yeah, here's the Christmas tree shop's loading dock right there. Alright guys, check this out. I just found something so cool over here. Wait a second, let me try and get over here. Oh yes. Look at this guys. Christmas tree shop sharpening carts. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They got 10. That is pretty cool. Here's the compactor. Let's try the merchandise pickup. Wow. Pretty sad. I don't think you can see anything in there. Blocked. Doesn't work. I tried, guys. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Here's a look inside. Pretty cool. Alright guys, there's the loading dock. Here's something right here. Here's where a Christmas tree shop sign was. Here's something that says employees only. For Christmas tree shops, I think. Look at that. You can see pretty well in there. Okay guys, that was a look at another abandoned Christmas tree shops. I filmed a lot in the past couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, so like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And enjoy some awesome pictures.